and welcome back to my channel. Monica Pie is here. Today is Easter Sunday, so happy Easter Sunday to y'all. Even though by the time you see this video, it won't be Easter. But today is Easter. Um, I had a little bit of time before I had to go to dinner, um, lunch, with my family, so I decided to do a YouTube video. How you can plan your gym outfit. All right, so I'm here in my room. It's a little messy. Sorry about that. First off, little disclaimer. I don't think I'm a fashion expert um, by any means, um, nor do I think that I'm great in fashion. I just thought it would be a cool video to show you guys how I choose my outfit and maybe it could help you guys. All right, so the first thing I do is I figure out what body part I am doing. If I'm doing arms, I usually want something that'll show that off uh, because that way when I'm looking in the mirror, I can see if I'm doing it right, if I'm activating my muscle, and believe it or not, it does help with motivation. Like if you're looking and you're like, oh, I see some cuts, I see some muscle, it really gets you motivated to keep going. So this is something, my Beauty Term Beast Muscle Tank. This is something that I would probably use on a leg day and I pair it with um, some type of legging. Um, a long legging or maybe like a Lululemon 7 8 stomach. A little 7 8 legging. I'm a little bit conservative so if I'm showing arms I don't want to be showing like too much legs. Um, and I am a little bit self-conscious because I've got cellulite. There, I said it. I've got cellulite, so I usually don't wear shorts unless it's a leg day, which brings me to my next little thing. If it's a leg day, like something like I'm doing quads, I'll sometimes wear shorts. Now, I like these Nike Pro Dry Fits because they are tight, so you're not going to have them riding up that much. Um, they fit kind of tight and, but they're just tight and they're just low enough that they don't show too much of my cellulite. So this is something that I would wear like to do squats, to do the leg extension. On that note, if it was a glute day, I'd probably wear leggings, like normal long leggings like these. These are awesome, super cute. They are nice. And long but they are really tight on the waist and they don't show anything so they pass the squat uh, squat test so they're perfect for doing squats hip thrust they're not gonna show they're not gonna mark and they're gonna stay put so this is probably what I would wear on a glute day however do not wear these shorts these type of flimsy shorts that are opened on the leg yeah no you don't want to do that see i've done that first off it does not pass the squat test at all look at that you can see everything these are these are actually from target they are kind of old because i've washed them a couple times but when you're doing the leg press and you're kind of inclined you kind of see everything <laughs> Like it's gonna open. So girls, keep your goodies in check. Don't let them, you know, be exposed to the world. So these are probably not the best. See, this is like something you wanna do if you wanna go to the sauna. Great for that. But not really to work out on leg day or maybe for arms when you have no cardio and you're not doing any legs. So your legs aren't gonna be like super exposed. So yeah, these type of flimsy shorts, that's a no-go for leg day. Sorry. Now, for back day. Again, these, you see how this is kind of exposed in the back. So you see your back, you see your lats. Something that I absolutely love to do. And I pair it, this is actually something that I wear regularly on a back day because I just think it it fits so well and it really lets me see my my back. And then I pair it with this 
with this sports bra. Sorry, it just came out of the washer, so it's like all crinkly. I'm telling you, I'm no fashion person. I don't even know how to get it together. So, again, this should not be this wrinkly. It just came out of the washer. I don't know if you can see, but like, look how sexy that looks. And, you, you know, picture it on your back day. It's really fun. I love it. I use that on a back day. Usually like to have my back exposed on a back day. Again, because it motivates me, even though you can't really see it. Because you're not going to be like, turn like that, try to look at your back. But, everyone else goes to see it. And can be like, hey, this girl's been working out. Or you can just videotape yourself, which is what I do sometimes with my coach. Do cardio. I personally like leggings. Um, not about that chafing life. Nope, nope, nope. Not gonna wear shorts. I when I do my cardio, especially running or hit cardio, I'm gonna wear myself some pants. Some nice little leggings. And you kind of want them kind of thick. This, obviously you can't tell through the camera, but these are pretty thick. So there is not going to be like any pi pi pilling, 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 piling, I think it's pilling, whatever, <laughs> the chafing but without your, you know, your skin touching. Anyways, this, this is not going to be happening, it's not going to hurt you. Your ladies, your legs, they're going to be good, that's what I wear, anyways. Now if you're a runner. I actually bought these compression pants when I was training for the marathon. I would totally, totally, totally suggest these pants. They are amazing. They just grip you in all the right places and they help your legs not to be fatigued. So I'm thinking that even for like somebody that does CrossFit, this might work. This is a little bit tight on the waist. You want to get it one, one size smaller because it does need to like compress everything so the first couple of times it might be a little bit uncomfortable and it just has like you see all these lines it's a purpose like for your butt to tighten it around here this is where your knee goes so it's all got its purpose it's math it's scientific reasoning i'm not exactly sure what it is but it really does work see all the muscles on your um on your hamstring it all grabs it perfectly perfectly however you want it tight but not too tight that you can't breathe and then you pass out when you're running that is not good no so if it's too too tight you should struggle putting it on but not like that you need to call 20 people and an ambulance to come help you put it on uh, -uh that's not what bueno. And my last thing is sports bras. There are so many different sports bras out there, and yeah, they're cute, but when you're a little bit heavier on top, you need some support, ladies. And some of these really cute bras are not gonna give you that support. And you also don't wanna wear any type of sports bra. Like, if you're going to go running, you're not going to wear the same type of sports bra as you're going to go do yoga. Because your ladies ain't going to stay in place. And you're going to have a Janet Jackson situation up in there. This Nike sports bra, super cute. Super nice. However, it gives me major side boob. Yeah, it's sexy, it's beautiful. Um, but I ain't going to wear it to go running. Maybe like for a uh, arm day, not too much movement. Like definitely not for leg day where I move more, but um, and not a chest day because I'm gonna be going like this. But maybe like you know bicep and tricep day, not gonna be moving too much. This bra would work. However, I would not do cardio in it. This V is probably gonna make the ladies go out. And again, this causes major side boobs. However, this one, for whatever reason, it's, I would totally go running in this. It's a lot more compact, 
and even though the back has like a cute little design it's actually keeps my ladies in place it's got the scoop neck scoop top so it's not my ladies are not gonna go out of place and the side boob really doesn't give me side boob because it's not like scooped up down scooped down so this situation you really want to put your girls in a really good sports bra because you don't want spillage well guys that concludes my video i hope you like it again i'm no fashion expert by any means so just me wanting to give my ladies some help when going to the gym and looking pretty damn fly give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i will catch you in the next one bye